Since the Model 3 only has the single 12 volt power source here under the armrest, I decided to add an additional port up under the phone dock to use with either wired or wireless fast charging for my phone. While I was at it, I also added a port down here behind this passenger foot panel to use with my dash cam. For a power source, I ended up just using the wiring from the existing power port, which is under the cup holder trim here. From what I've read online, going directly to the 12 volt battery can create some issues with the car's energy management system. One thing to note, before you connect to any of the car's existing wiring, you want to make sure you de-energize it. I use the vehicle power off option from the touchscreen. Here's a diagram of that back panel where the two USB ports are located. I drilled a hole 27 millimeters in diameter and it was located 20 millimeters from the top edge and 30 millimeters from the right edge. If you go much farther to the left of this location, there's some plastic bracing you could run into. There is also a wire that runs kind of across the back of this panel. It's not directly up against the panel, but you just need to be careful you don't hit it when drilling the hole. Here's a cross section of the power port I used. It's about 35 millimeters deep. The terminals extend another 10 millimeters, and there was room for this behind this panel once you drill the hole. Okay, now that I have the pilot hole started for the hole saw, I've actually switched out the bit to just a shorter piece of quarter inch bolt, so this will still guide the hole saw, but it won't protrude as far behind to make sure I don't hit anything by accident. Now this hole is just slightly undersized for the plug that I found. This plug will just barely start to fit into there, so I'm just going to take a file and enlarge the hole just slightly. Okay, so here's the power outlet with the wires soldered on, and I have filed down this hole to, to be a um, pretty snug fit so I don't have to use the nut that came with this since the space is limited behind it so I have the wires currently run down over to the side here I'll wire those up later So we want to get power from the existing power socket here and run it under the trim and down to the passenger footwell. So we're going to do that by pulling off this piece of trim here. And 
see it's just held in by a series of clips. Just snap in place. Alright, so next step is to remove this trim piece. Uh, it's just a series of T20 screws along here. Then there are a few little tabs that you have to kind of release. There's one here, there's one here, one here, another one here. And then there's that ring. Now I've removed uh, both trim pieces on the driver's side as well, and I'm going to pry off this trim piece that goes around the couple there. So the trickiest part is uh, these forward clips, but if you go carefully you can get them to pry up. So there's three in the front, there's just one in the, kind of the middle here, and then two in the back. And then here's the module for reading the key card. I'm just going to kind of slide this to the side. And then now we have access to the power outlet to connect a wire for our additional outlet. Okay, so here I've removed some insulation from the positive lead. I'm going to do the same thing on the ground side, but I'm going to offset the cut. All right, so there we go. I've got two spots open to connect our wire leads to. So this is a 16 gauge wire. I have some 12 gauge I'm gonna use. You wanna make sure you use at least 16 gauge, if not a larger wire size. Okay, so here I've stripped the ends of the 12 gauge extension wire. I'm going to wrap this around. Alright, now those are ready to solder. After the joints are soldered, slide on some heat shrink. All 
Now we're going to reconnect the terminals. Okay, so now I've fished a, um, just a scrap piece of Romex wire down to the center console and it comes out down here along the edge and I've taped my wires to it. I'm just going to pull this through now. So wiring from the existing 12 volt outlet, two wires I've attached go down to the center console and they come out kind of along the edge of the carpet here. I have them zip tied to this existing wire harness. Come up here, I have split them in two directions so I've got one set of wires that power the additional 12 volt outlet I installed and then I've also added on this um, power outlet splitter. I'm using this to power my dash cam. So this, I've got some Velcro on. I'm gonna tuck this under here and attach it to the underside of this housing here.